Suppose I had a graph, xt graph, which looks like that. Flat, straight line. What does that mean? The object is at rest. Is an object at rest at the origin? No. No. It is not. It won't be. If it was at the origin, how will the graph look? This will be the graph. Because x will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right now x is something else. Maybe it is 4. That means it is at x is equal to 4 throughout. It is not moving. Suppose it was at x is equal to minus 3 and it is not moving. It will be here. It will be at rest but it will be at minus 3 and it will basically be a straight line. Okay. Now suppose this object was moving but with uniform velocity. How will the graph look? Now maybe it looks like this. It has to look like a straight line. Why? Because for equal intervals of time, it must have equal increases. So for this much in interval, this much is the increase. If I took the same interval, I must increase by the same amount. So this triangle and that triangle must be similar, congruent actually. Well, if I said equal, it must be congruent. This is equal to that, this is equal to that, 90 degrees. So these two are congruent, which means this angle must be equal to that angle. So it must be one straight line. So you must have a straight line. In fact, that is a proof that uniform velocity means it must be a straight line. But wait a minute, you already know it must be a straight line because we have done much more now. You know that velocity is the slope. That means everywhere it must have the same slope. Why? Because it's uniform velocity. Now if I had a curve like this and said that this was uniform velocity, clearly the slope is changing. So this can't be, it's not possible. If I want to have the same slope everywhere, it must have the, and it is continuous, you can also have the same slope like this. But then what happened between that to that? There was a discontinuity. So if it has to be continuous, if this point has to go and join that point and the lines have to be same slope, then obviously it has to be one single straight line. So you know that xt graph, if it is a straight line, it is uniform motion, uniform velocity. What if it was like this? Uniform. What is the difference? It has negative velocity. It is moving like this on the axis. It is moving like that on the axis. Positive direction, negative direction. So velocity is plus, velocity is minus. That is the difference. Okay. Now, if I had between this and that, what is the difference? It has greater positive velocity. And between this and this, actually that has greater velocity, but this guy has greater speed. The more steeper, more speed. Except it is negative. So this was probably minus 5 meters per second and this was minus 20 meters per second. But minus 20 is less than minus 5. I mean in terms of which is greater. Speed wise, this is bigger than that. More negative, this is less negative. That is more positive. With positive, of course, you can just simply ignore the fact that velocity and speed as, as numbers, you can just compare them. So it's okay. I hope so far it's all clear. Now, if I say that there is a body that has this, 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 and this. This is its motion. What do you think this body did? Rest? It was moving with some positive uniform velocity. Then stopped for a while. It was at rest. Then it had, what do you think? Greater, lesser? Greater. Now it was moving really fast. Maybe this guy was not supposed to be at rest. Okay, so because this guy was at rest, now suddenly started speeding up. Now after this guy went and picked something up, what did this guy do? He came back down at a reasonably high velocity. Except it is a negative velocity. Magnitude of the velocity was high. Speed was high. But velocity was negative. How do I know it was negative? This is the slope. Okay, but if he had done that, again negative velocity, but would have done it slower. This, was it constant velocity at every point? Well, 
not throughout, but for this period it was constant. This of course was zero, so it was constant, constant and constant. Okay. Now, if this guy did the same thing like this, what could you say? Not constant, but you can also say that in the beginning this guy was very slow, then the speed increased, then the speed decreased, it became zero. Velocity increased, velocity decreased, it's all positive numbers, but it was positive throughout till here, then positive throughout till there and what was the velocity there? Zero, because again, the well, if the object starts to do that, the slope at that point is flat. So that means velocity is zero. So it stopped, and then because velocity is zero means stop, and then this guy started to have a negative velocity. First, very fast negative velocity, then again seems to have slowed down, and then again increase the velocity in the negative direction, increase the speed. Okay. You understand the meaning of this graph? You should be able to read a graph. And it shouldn't take too long. It should be intuitive. So please keep in mind the XT graph slope represents velocity. Actually, whatever we did for XT graph and said slope is velocity, the same thing works with velocity time graph, except the slope will be acceleration. Just like X leads to V, V leads to A.